There are two prisoners, each in separate rooms. They have no communication with each other, and the court has zero evidence on them. Yet, they are suspected of a crime. Now, each one is interrogated, and they have two options. They can remain silent, or they can betray the other prisoner. Each one with a possibility of working in their favor. However, they do not know how the other prisoner will respond or what they'll do. What is the right play for each prisoner to give them the best scenario? This is an example of game theory. Now, game theory is kind of used in my everyday life. I love economics and I love making decisions. And a lot of people don't realize that it's used in their lives too. Game theory is just in everything you do. It's in business, it's in economics, it's in simple things like going to the grocery store or even deciding what you're gonna do on a certain day just to fill your time. It could be leisure, it could be productive. It really is in every aspect of your life, and I'll explain so further on. Now, today I hope that you can understand the basic concept of theory and what Nash equilibrium is, as it's a special instance within game theory that is definitely worth understanding. Now, game theory is just the idea that each person makes optimal decisions based on another person's strategy. And kind of what this means is that when your competitor or your opponent does a certain thing, you base your decision off of what they did for your best interest. Um, now, I use component or competitor loosely. It can be anything in life. It can be just what you're gonna do that day based on how the sun is shining even. It can be literally anything. As long as you are making a decision based off of something else that affects you, and you're making your decision to put you in the most optimal interest, then you're using game theory. Now, what this kind of means is, and I'll give a business example here, um, when two businesses are competing, let's say, each business will base their prices of their product off of the other's prices. So, for example, if two um, phone companies have a selling a phone and one company is selling a phone for $500, well, the other company is going to try their best to sell the phone for $450 while still being profitable because it is in their best interest to sell to more consumers and more consumers will buy that phone at a lower price. That is a simply game theory. Now, I love game theory because I love chess. And chess is a great example of game theory. This is a chess board. Now, in chess, each person knows every possible move that their opponent can make and every possible move that is on the board. And because of this, they try to use all of that information to make the most optimal decision in their favor to win the game. Now, now uh, Apple released a statement in 2017 saying that their strategy leverages their unique ability to de design and develop their own operating systems. This is game theory. This is a great example of game theory, actually, because they use other operating systems in the market, for example, maybe Samsung's or literally Amazon's, anyone else's game own operating system for their benefit, and they saw what works best for them. They saw what they can improve on and how to improve it. Now, Nash Equilibrium is a great part of game theory that is worth understanding. It is basically when two opponents are doing something and they each know the, all the information, they know each person's strategy, but they're not going to deviate from that strategy. Now this basically means that if it ain't broke, don't fix it. It's a classic saying, right? Well this is essentially Nash equilibrium. If what you are doing is working best for you, and you do not want to change it no matter what your opponent is doing because you still believe that the optimal outcome for you is to do what you have set to be done. Now, and for me, how this works is that I do this in basketball. I, if I know that my right hand is my strongest side and going to the right for layup is my best chance to score, I will do that even if I know that my opponent is best at guarding the right side. I still believe that I can score on him even if his best attribute is guarding the right side. Therefore, I will go to the right side. That is Nash equilibrium. When both of our both best strategies, we know both of our best strategies, yet we are not going to deviate because we believe that it gives us the best chance to succeed. Now, John Nash, kind of the founder of Nash equilibrium, 
is quoted as saying that this discovery of Nash equilibrium in every year of life changed his life for the better. He understood business better. He understood how to be more efficient as a person and just how to succeed because you want to find the most optimal decision in the most efficient way possible. Now, a great example of this, as I mentioned and then I started with in the speech, is the prisoner's dilemma. How does this show Nash equilibrium? Well, each prisoner actually should choose to betray each other because they do not know what the other person is going to do. So their best interest is to actually betray each other and each serve a little couple years in prison instead of hoping to remain silent and hoping that the other prisoner doesn't rat them out. This is Nash equilibrium. Now, I hope that each of you understand what games theory is and how that Nash equilibrium plays into that. Thank you.